You're finally launching your podcast. How exciting. You've been contemplating the idea for months or maybe years, and you are ready to buy your equipment and to start recording your podcast. But before you do, why don't we chat a little bit about podcasting? Uh, I want to share with you what I know, my experience, and the things that um, I've seen that are super important for you to learn before you launch your show. Let's get to it. Hey there, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Veronica and I am the content marketing director and one of the instructors here at the Pod Sound School. In our channel, you can find videos about podcasting, video podcasting, audio production, content marketing. And if this is something that you want to learn more about, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and be part of the Pod Sound School community. Okay, so let's talk podcasting. In my experience, there are two main reasons why people want to launch a podcast and you may be in in either category you either want a podcast for your business or you either want to launch a podcast because you see it as a hobby or you just want to get together with friends and record a podcast you are attracted to podcasting which like who isn't podcasting is super cool you get to sit down and have conversations and share stories and 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 share yourself with an audience and so either way there's nothing wrong the thing that i want you to consider is that they have different approaches as far as how you plan your podcast as far as the the, the marketing the strategy behind it and also the metrics that you will be uh keeping track of and uh, the overall launching of the podcast also it's very different so if you are launching a podcast for your business some of the things that you should consider is how is my podcast going to drive sales how is going to generate leads or how is going to convert those leads into clients that's the, the the ultimate goal that we want with our content marketing. The whole reason why we make videos, the whole reason why we uh, create uh, different media and the whole reason you'll be launching your podcast is because ultimately you want to convert your audience into paying clients and you also want to grow a community. That's important too. And you also want to build your authority and you also want to network. And all of these things are important. Uh, but the mistake that I've seen business owners making is that they launch a podcast that is completely disconnected from their brand, that uh, it has nothing to do with uh, what they do. It doesn't do anything for the business because there's not a connection. So if you are thinking about launching a podcast for your business, just make sure that there is a place for it inside the content marketing strategy that you are already running. Usually podcasting is not the type of content that you will make to generate leads. Usually podcasting is the type of content that you that you will make to deepen the relationships that you have with your with your existing customers. Having a podcast as part of your content marketing is a very smart move because it complements the strategy that you may have going on on other platforms. With podcasting, you can elaborate a little bit more on the content that you post on social media, which we know that social media is more fast paced. The things that you post today, they're not relevant tomorrow with a podcast. You can elaborate more on concepts, ideas, share more of your stories of your why, share more um, stories about your the transformations that you have achieved for your clients or share clients testimonials or interview people from your industry so you can build your authority faster and also you can network that way. So it's really important that you think about the content and how is it going to be different from the content that is going to drive you those leads and how you're going to funnel those leads that you get from social media into your podcast. Also, the content that you cover in your podcast, it's calculated and it's also in sync with the different offers that you may have the different events that you may be running in your business and you will look and plan that content ahead or even the interviews the people that you choose to interview those are strategic for 
the growth of your business and strategic for uh, your marketing. If you're launching a podcast as a hobby, that's uh, very different. And we get a lot of clients and students who just want to record a podcast because they want to share their stories. They they want to grow a community. They want to get together with friends. They want to record a podcast with their families. And, and that's super fun but they don't have to worry about so much about the branding or they don't have to worry about so much about um, generating leads or having an offer. They just want to uh, have fun and tap into creativity and just start making content. What I've seen over time is that people, uh, they run out of ideas. They launch their podcast without knowing uh, whether there's going to be an audience for it or not, because they're creating a, par- a podcast for themselves. Also, they uh, get tired of investing money in something that is it doesn't have any ROI. So if this is you, if you want to launch a podcast as a hobby or to have fun or to be creative, it doesn't hurt to do a little bit of research regarding your audience. If you want to grow your audience, if you want to invest in podcasting because you want to see a return, maybe not right now, maybe in the future, you want to see how you can introduce an offer. Maybe you want to see if maybe you want to work in the industry or you want to monetize your audience, then it's a good idea to plan from the beginning and to do a little bit of research regarding your audience, because that's going to save you a lot of time and headache. And it's going to put you in a place where you can start making money and justify the time and the effort that you place into creating um, and making your podcast, because it's it's time consuming and you're going to need that motivation. Money is motivation. So with that being said, if you want to launch your podcast to experiment and start making content, go for it. That's exactly what we did because we launched our podcast, uh, the Pod Sound School podcast. Then we saw the need to create videos to explain audio concepts. And we ended up creating our YouTube channel and starting posting videos on YouTube. And then we realized that we needed to monetize Uh, what we were doing because we wanted to have a business. We wanted to be educators and we we wanted to launch courses and we wanted to offer services. And that's what we started doing. So you can start with launching your podcast as a hobby and then it will become a business down the road. Or you may, you know, start a podcast and then you get bored of that podcast or you're done or you don't see a way that you can make money with that podcast well you can start another podcast it's it's just as simple as that you're just starting your career as a content creator and how exciting that is that you are taking the steps of becoming a content creator okay so now that we know the difference between launching a podcast for your business and launching your podcast as a hobby and how they are different and how you should approach them differently Let's talk about the three things that you should focus on if you are launching your podcast today. So the three things that you should focus on. The first one is production. There are different ways that you can record a podcast. You can record a podcast with your phone using an app. Spotify for podcasters allows you to record a podcast like right there on the app. And from the app, you can um, add music and you can uh, create a cover art and you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and boom, you have a podcast. But there are other ways that you can record a podcast too. And I would recommend if you want to just try podcasting, yes, do it with your phone before you start, you know, spending money. Uh, on equipment and not knowing whether you like it or not like I would start with recording your podcast with your phone and then from there you can do the transition to get yourself a very nice microphone like this one and to get yourself an audio interface and maybe get yourself a camera because you want to do a video podcasting which I highly recommend but production is, is super important when it comes to create great content 
But if you want to record your podcast in a more professional way and look like a cool, sexy podcaster, then maybe you want to uh, get a microphone. This is my uh, favorite microphone, the sm 7 b because I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can get yourself an audio interface. You can also make sure that the acoustics in your studio or in uh, your recording area are on point. So there's no echo or the other um, and nasty things that can get in your recordings. Uh, you may decide that you want to add a camera because you want to um, have a video podcasting, which I highly recommend. Maybe uh, some lighting recommended too, so you look sharp. So the production of your podcast can be as simple as just recording on your phone or having something more professional and sophisticated like what I have going on right now. But it depends on your goals and it depends on your taste and your budget. The other thing that is super important is content. You can have the best equipment, you can have the most fancy microphone, but if your content is not good, then your podcast is not going to get to places. It's important that you do your research. It's important that you understand your audience. It's important to understand or to know what they're searching for or the things that they need help with. Because the more you know about your audience, the more you'll be able to come up with episode ideas about exactly what they need, about what they find entertaining, about what they find useful, and just to keep them coming back for more. Think about the podcasts that you listen to on a regular basis. They either provide entertainment, they provide inspiration, uh, they teach you something, and that's the whole reason that you subscribe or that you follow and that you keep listening to the same podcast every week. So it's important that you do your research, that you plan your content, and that you make the best possible episodes that you can make. And also part of the content is how you deliver the content, how much of your personality you introduce into your episodes. Chances are that the podcast that you're thinking about launching, that there is another podcast already. But the difference between that podcast and your podcast, it's going to be you. Is going to be the way that you deliver the information, is going to be your personality. And the third thing I want you to focus on or to put all your energy on is marketing. Marketing is important when you are launching a podcast because if you don't have marketing in place, then chances are that nobody's going to know that you are launching a podcast. So it's important that you see your podcast as this digital product that is you need to market and that you need to promote before you even launch it. So some of the things that you can do to promote and to uh, do a marketing campaign for your podcast is to uh, talk about it on social media, to talk about it to the people you know, to uh, maybe reach out to some other podcasters that have the same niche or that have a similar content as your the content that you have for your podcast and see if you can be interviewed on those shows because that way you'll get to talk about your podcast in front of an audience that are already podcast listeners and you also get to network with other podcasters which is uh, very important when you are making content to collaborate with other creators also i have have a social media campaign uh, that can help you funnel some of your followers on social media over to your podcast so they become uh, listeners as well. There are all sorts of things that you can do as far as marketing when it comes to uh, social media, now, whether you are on Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook, uh, you can create uh, graphics talking about your podcast graphics that talk about maybe the content that you're covering and, and your episodes or your why. It can be pictures of you recording your podcast, letting people know that you're launching a podcast. You can make Instagram reels or TikToks of you talking about the episodes or, you know, just like having this marketing campaign that just 
uh, gets people curious about this new product that you uh, want to that you want to uh, launch and that you want them to enjoy and there there is uh, there's a certain way that you can talk about your podcast that will get more attention and they will help you get more eyeballs on your content and and also the day that you launch more listeners to your podcast and that's talking in the sense of value what your audience will be learning or how they going to be entertained or what if they spend those 30 minutes listening to your episode what are the takeaways or what are the things that are going to be like life changing or the transformations or if you approach your marketing in this way instead of just saying oh come and listen to my podcast or you know I'm launching a podcast and you should come listen. Uh, the more explicit you are about the value that you are providing with your podcast, the more people will be receptive to it and will be curious about it and will tune in the day of your lunch. But talk about in the sense of the value that you are providing. If you already have a, a social media following, a big one, then it's going to be a uh, a little bit a little bit easier for you to bring those uh, your followers and to get them excited about your podcast because they've been consuming your content and now you're going to have this really cool uh long format content that they can go and and enjoy more of you so just get them excited in this way that they're going to have this other option for uh, them to go and enjoy your content And if you have any questions about podcast production, content or marketing, make sure you drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them all. Another thing that is super important and that people don't stop to think about it often before launching a podcast is how they will produce the podcast and then help that they're going to need when producing the podcast. Just to get you familiar with the work that goes into podcasting, you have to plan the episodes, you have to either write scripts or you have to have an outline, uh, you have to uh, have guests, invite guests, schedule your guests and have that communication with them. Then the day that you will record your podcast, you have to record your podcast and, and interview the person and give your performance. Not to mention that you have to set up the equipment and, and that you, you need to know how to set up your equipment and how to record your podcast on your computer, how to manage the files after you have recorded your podcast. And then you have to edit the episode, post the episode, create promotional materials or promotional assets for your social media or do all of the, the promotional steps that you do after you post an episode on your podcast. That's a lot of work. If you're going to do it alone, that's a lot of work. And uh, that's something that I need you to be prepared for and start thinking about ways that you can enlist the help of other people. If you are launching a podcast as part of your content marketing strategy for your business, maybe you already have a person managing your social media so that person can do all the promotion of your show. Maybe you also have a person who is uh, managing your content, maybe doing the SEO and the keyword research and all that for you so you just sit down and you record your podcast and then after that what you are going to need is a podcast editor i don't want you to sit down and spend three four hours or a whole day if you don't know about podcast editing trying to figure it out how to edit your podcast and you are going to have to edit your podcast there's just no way around it it's necessary so you need a podcast editor we train podcast editors and I can tell you they are the best in the industry. You can go to podsoundschool.com to find yourself a podcast editor. And why it is important for you to start thinking about having help? Well, because you want to do this in the long run and it's a lot of work. And the way that you're going to see results with your content, the way that you're going to see results with your podcast is if you do it for the long run. This is not something that is going to give you the results that you want within uh, three weeks or, you know, three months. You are going to be posting a lot of content, a lot of episodes, and you have to streamline your content production. You have to streamline the production of your podcast. And the way that you streamline is 
by having people who is going to perform those tasks that you don't want to do and that can be a bottleneck like the editing, for example, like the marketing and promotion, because it takes time to create graphics, to take snippets of your episodes. So this is why it's important for you to start thinking about enlisting people that will help you. Even if you are thinking about just launching your podcast as a hobby and but you are you want an audience and you want to do promotion, then you are going to have to ask somebody to help you with that. If you're recording with a friend, if you're recording with a family member, if you want to, if you don't have the budget right now to hire somebody, then delegate those things among the people who are recording the podcast with you. And if you have no idea how to start a podcast, then you can do it the DIY route. We have a program. You can go to podsoundschool.com that will teach you everything you need to know about how to plan, produce, and launch and promote your podcast. It's smart and sexy podcasting. And you can get more information, like I said, by going to podsoundschool.com or you can work directly with us and our team we only take a few clients a year so make sure that you reach out and that you provide all the information about your project about your podcast and we'll be happy to help you i also have this playlist with videos about launching a podcast podcast strategy and how to make money podcasting so make sure that you watch all of these videos and i'll see you in my next video